Have you heard of Dan's whetstone? These are stones used for sharpening and um, they're extremely expensive. These are pocket stones. Now, how you order these is you order whichever one you want, add it to your cart, order another one, add it to your cart, order another one, and that type of thing. The first one I ordered was a soft Arkansas medium, and uh, it was $13.19. So that's your kind of rougher stone. Then I ordered a hard Arkansas fine, which is $21, so that's like your medium stone. And then I ordered a black ultra fine, $37.73, a lot more expensive. Now, their pocket stones are recommended to use oil. So I ordered their uh, oil, which was three ounces for $5.20. It comes in a leather case, which is nice, okay? It even comes with instructions in every one of them, okay? Is what it does. So I'm going to organize these. Black on the left. Yeah, this one's a little rougher. Then there's my medium. Okay. So there's there's how they're basically set up. Now they are four inches. Now you look at them and you think, wow, that's not very big, and it's not. Um, you're into about. You know, almost $85, $87 just for this little bit. Great for putting in my backpack. Great for sharpening my knives. Um, so why oil instead of water? Now, some people do use water. But um, these stones are all natural. Okay, they come out of Arkansas. All this is US, USA made. You can do um, Dan Whetstone's searches on YouTube, and you'll just find video after video. Some of them are 10 years old. Um, you won't find a whole lot of newer ones. But I like it because it's a lot smaller so I can work on what I'm doing. So this, I would hit this with my knife first, put the oil on top. The medium, again, with my knife next. The black, really, really fine. So this is really going to make that knife pop and be extremely sharp. They even have instructions on how to sharpen them, how to tilt your knife. But you are have to understand you are sharpening by hand. This ain't a machine, this ain't anything fancy. And uh, you will get a very, very sharp knife. So the stones do matter. If you search eBay on sharpening stones, you'll find stones that date back way to the 1930s and people are charging two or three thousand dollars for them. If you're somebody that really loves sharpening stones, there are just some stones you just wait, can't wait to get the hands on them because of the final product. There are some people that are a fanatic with making those blades sharp. That's up to you. But um, it even has the sticker made in USA. I mean, everything about this is made in USA. And they pack up in a little container like so. Well, here's the instructions. And all the instructions are the same. And this is just to give it a little bit of protection to sit inside that leather container, is what it is. Now, what I'm going to do is all three are going to be lined up and they're going to be inside another container with a little bit of this oil. And that is what I'm going to have when I'm on a back trip, backpacking trip. So, you know, it's late at night, got the fire going, maybe turn the headlight on and maybe sit there and tune up my knife a little bit. You're not going to get anything better. That, that's the bottom line. When you buy so many sharpeners where you take a knife and you slide it through like that, that, that's actually, if you have a really good knife, that's wrecking your knives is what that's doing. You're not going down. You know, for example, with these three stones, if I end up with some of, somewhat of a little chip or something like that, I could really change how that blade works and everything. Now, I may end up running this stone, um, you know, for a good three hours just to fix the blade. And then, you know, maybe half an hour, maybe 10 minutes, and it'll go less and less and less. Well, the first one is taking the most time. This is extremely dense, the black stone. But it's extremely fine. I mean, when I rub my finger across that, it feels like glass. But yet, it's not. When you start dumping oil on this stone, it'll start sucking it up. Now, what these stones is, when you're done using them, 
Okay, a little bit of oil, a rag, clean them off, and then put them back in their containers. Now, you don't have to use oil. You could use water. I've seen some guys on the Internet use water. And uh, for people that don't know, why use water? Why use oil? What's the point? Why not just use them raw? You'll destroy your blade if you do that. Inside the, the, wet st the stone are pores, like the pores in your skin. Okay? Now, as you sharpen with your knife, and if you use water then it gets those little metal fail, filings inside those pores. That's what's going on. So now the, the stone becomes useless is what happens because you're not getting to where the stone is. You use oil. Here's where the debate comes in. Some people believe um, it protects the pores and it removes the filings better. And when you dump some oil on here and then you wipe it off, you're keeping those pores open so you can continuously use your knife. But there's some people that use water. Now, they're extreme experts but I don't think the average guy is going to use water I think he's going to use oil uh, when you're done you want to put these inside a uh, you know a ziplock because you don't want that oil getting all over your stuff inside your backpack or maybe keep it in a pocket on the side is what you want to do so if you haven't heard of these I would suggest you go to Dan's wet w-h-e-t stone.com is where you should go and go check them out and he's got stones on there especially these um these black ones if you get them big i mean you can spend twenty five hundred dollars for one of these which is pretty crazy so something to consider if you haven't um they're made in usa and, and you look at the, you're never gonna buy this will last you your lifetime so for under 100 bucks you've got the best of the best to sharpen your knives you might want to check it out i have a couple links in the bottom I have a direct link to where you get the pocket size ones. And like I said, when I did this, you put one in your pocket, the other one in your pocket, and the other one in your cart, basically. So like I said, I ordered the Soft Arkansas Medium, Soft Arkansas Fine, and Hard Arkansas Fine, and Black Arkansas Ultra Fine. So let me do that again. Soft Arkansas Medium, Hard Arkansas Fine, Black Arkansas Ultra Fine. That's what I ordered. And I ordered all the four inches. Is what I tried to make them as long as possible so I can run my knife down like that. So, if you're looking for some great sharpening and you want to sharpen by hand and you want to get used to it and you want to carry something around your backpack, that's the way to go. Catch you guys later.